Sup guys, ZachTech12 here, and welcome back to Skyward Sword HD. Today we are going to be doing some stuff with the Isle of Songs. And because that's what we unlocked the, um, what's the word, uh, the Goddess Heart for. We didn't unlock any new, um, Goddess Cubes, but... Um... Yeah, no, we just need to unlock the Thunderhead. That's that big uh, cloud over there. We need to unlock the Thunderhead. That's where the Isle of Songs is. So let's drop in. And I f I, now we get a really good place to farm rupees. So now that we're on Skyloft, I think that's the house, that house over there. Eight when I run out of stamina. It just makes me feel so defeated. So I'm gonna open this up. Uh, you're gonna hear some noise in the background because that's just how my house works. Yeah, this house! This is what we need to clean. And we get some gratitude crystals. So we gotta blow this. This is this is the actual wind work. This is the actual wind work, because we're actually working. Just this is sorry I'm I'm destroying your house, but I gotta clean. Seriously, I wish I had a gust bellows to clean my house in real life. Cause that would make things so much easier than a stupid vacuum. Or a stupid broom, or a stupid mop. Okay. I don't know, let's blow this. Sorry. Any other dust? Wait, hold on. I guess I'm not done. am I missing? Sword. Um. Water. What about inside the closet? Nothing. Um. Huh. I'm just I'm just gonna blow everywhere. Oh, I missed some over here. I can just sit, and I get five gratitude crystals. So this is some things that we can do in um. <coughs> so this is a way to farm rupees. I'm not gonna farm the rupees at the moment, but whatever. How do I play the goddess harp though? Because I know you can. Oh, it's X. Yeah, we can just press X and we can play the goddess harp anytime we need to. It's not as useful as the ocarina, but it's something. So we're gonna go to Beetle's air shop. We're gonna buy the life medallion. Actually, you know what? No, no, what we need to do is go into the bazaar and make sure we have enough money afterward. 
Because there's some- because we need to buy a stamina potion. So we need to go over to the item check and... And we need to drop this off. That's perfect. No. So I can examine it. 50 rupees. I can get enough. Stamina potion. Perfect. And that blue potion, that actually re refreshes our air. That actually uh, makes it so that our air doesn't run out, runs out more slowly. <clears throat> Whoa, no, don't fall off, don't fall off. Don't want the guys yelling at me. So we just need to get a few more rupees. And now we can go to Beetle's Air Shop. Where is it? Um, there it is. Come on. Perfect. This- again, I keep saying that this thing defies all laws of physics. So I can't get the bug medallion yet, but I can get this. That is a lot of money. So that basically gives us a portable heart container. Well, basically just a temporary heart container. <clears throat> So now what we want to do is um, go over and go to the Night Academy. Because what we need to do at the Night Academy is the, is the reason why we got that stamina potion in the first place. Because the reason we got that stamina potion is so that we can give it to Fledge, who is trying to get stronger. So, I think his room's here. Yeah, Fledge. So we need to go over to his bed and sleep. Um, hold on, I'm kind of controlling this a bit weird at the moment, but don't worry. Until night. So, as you can see... So now we talk to him. So we can start the quest now. <sighs> yeah. Take it. Stamina potion. Okay, now we actually need to do something with Batrux. Yeah, I'm going to continue pronouncing it Batrux. Because now we can get the large wallet. Which will allow us to give us an extra 500 rupees to carry in our wallet. I've never- I've actually been running low on rupees, so it's not like that's gonna matter, but, uh, it's for 100%, so I need to get it. And we need to do it at night, because Patrux only opens up his house at night. I guess it's just fun to pronounce it that way. Hold on. I was hoping you'd drop something, but no, you didn't. Yeah. Rabbit things, I would just, uh. What's going on? Oh no. Domestic violence! Yeah. I, I just noticed he's still talk in his talking animation. I don't know if that was something that was hard to notice on the original, but 
They didn't bother updating it. They didn't bother fixing a glitch. So let's actually go and talk to Batrix. I don't know. I, I was trying to use the sailcloth, but I guess not. So there is something in here um, that is useful, but it is kind of useless at the same time. So we got the big wallet. And the chest spawns in. It's not that bad. So yeah, I'm gonna open it. But it's just gonna go straight into the item check, so it's not gonna be that big of a deal. Yeah, it's gonna go straight to the item check, because I have a full adventure pouch at the moment. So, um, wait, could I sleep? Can I sleep at his house? Can I sleep at his house? Please say I can sleep at his house. Please say there's a better something. No, there isn't. Great. Actually, I have to go to someone else's house and barge in. I mean, I could go to my own room, but no. It's gonna take too long. I don't want to. Just shake it up. Just shake, shake upward of the ladder. Oh, stupid shoot you. And those other things, they seem to drop it more often. They seem to be more likely to drop it. So this is Pit Pit's house. I'm gonna go to bed here. Till morning. Oh, no, not not cleaning again. I mean, I couldn't wait to get some more rupees, so what we need to do is go to the sealed grounds. And this is where, hold on, I'm actually gonna check. I'm actually gonna go to the bazaar and check, see, cause I really wanna get my upgrade for the speed beetle, um, speed beetle. So I'm actually gonna go over to the bazaar and look at it. Just to make sure. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> so what does it look like? Upgrade. So for the hook beetle, I need one larva. So I need one larva, which I can get in Faron. And what I'm going to do is that I'm going to drop at the start of this of the woods. And then I'm going to just, you know, roll into the tree and do stuff like that. Jump off. Y'all my bird. And the Pharon region is just right over this. There's no, like, um... This is where we get to fight the imprisoned. Oh, bird. Bird carrying 20 rupees. I want those 20 rupees. There we go. Nice, clean 20 rupees. Let's glide down. Oh no, Groose is gonna follow us. I forgot about this. I'm going to use this as a thumbnail. Because I've, I've been thinking about using this as a thumbnail for like a long time, like this face that, that Link is going to make, which is why I'm not going to skip the cutscene. There we go, now I can skip it. So Groose is going to talk some shit. So he's going to go in the seal temple. Okay, so let me actually... um. Let me sneak up on these birds. Oh, damn it, I missed! But this is why I'm gonna head into the main. the main Farron Woods. 
Oh, I never got rid of that waypoint that I was forced to do in the tutorial. I never got rid of it. So now that I'm in Farron Woods, I can... Oh. Uh, whoops. Guess I never um, unturned a... Unturned a log. And this isn't the little, um, what's the word, uh... Wait, now that I have bombs... I can blow this wall up! This is just a quick little detour that I'm making to... It's a heart piece. I'll take it. Uh, I got a heart piece at the very least. And I can run up here. Because I want to head for the deep woods. That goddess cube, of course, I can't get yet. Oh, great. Why did I get in the water? Maybe I was thinking in terms of Twilight Princess, even though I haven't played Twilight Princess in a minute either. I mean, not as long as Skyward Sword, but... Ow! Swim out of the water, please. Thank you. There's the shitting birds. The birds that take a, take a massive poo-poo on me. I don't know if I'm insane, but I feel like Link actually gains a s is goes slightly faster when his stamina is full compared to when it's recharging. So this is where I wanted to go. I wanted to go here. There we go, I got a four Deku Hornets. Hornets. Not just bees, they're full on hornets. Stupid Bacoblins. Catch the Hornet! We got an ornamental skull. I need more of those. I want to see if I can get some rupees in this grass. This is looking like Wind Waker grass to me. It's like there are different styles of grass throughout the Zelda series, and this is looking like Wind Waker grass. Rather, well, at or Wind Waker slash Skyward Sword grass. Um, and uh, Breath of the Wild uses the Twilight Princess style grass, where it's just very seamless. And br at least Breath of the Wild made it easier to cut down. Hornet larva. More hornets. Get over here. Get over here, you stupid hornet. 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 So what I'm actually gonna do instead, okay, where's the bird statue? There's a bird statue around here. Yeah, there's a bird statue over here. Actually, no, I'm just gonna, I'm actually gonna find that log and overturn it. I'm going to find that log and overturn it. Cause I need to do that log anyway. Also an amber relic, need, need, need those. I think I got a bunch of ancient flowers. So that when I inevitably return to the sky, I can upgrade my beetle. Ooh, wait, hold on. I actually want- I actually- hold on, let me, um... So I got glistering spores, because you can- you don't have to, like, grab them beforehand. Ooh, another place I could bomb. So I'm gonna bomb this place. Get out my bombs. So that opens up an, a chest. 
Okay. Let's open this up. A bluebird feather. Let's get through here. So this is the log I never overturned. Perfect, now I can head back to the sealed grounds and fight the imprisoned. Perfect. A little bit of a distraction, but um, I will have to return to the sky anyway, so I'm not gonna do that now. Actually, wait a minute, um, no. I want the bug net. Sneak. And there we go, I got a bird feather. That's how you get bird feathers. So, time to head back into the sealed grounds. So, we have to fight the imprisoned three times throughout the story. What? Okay. So, are we gonna get to fight the imprisoned? <sighs> this is so dumb. Perfect. Okay. So we have the gay circle sprinkling around us. I'm mostly being quiet because I need to concentrate. Alright, so now the time portal thing happens up. Oh wait, I can't skip this cutscene. I think I'm learning a song. Yeah, I think I think it's this is learning a song. Yeah, this is definitely learning a song. So I learned the Ballad of the Goddess. <clears throat> so now the time time portal thing opens up. But we can't use it yet because we need the Master Sword to Skyward Strike it with. And the next three dungeons are going to be focusing us on upgrading the Goddess Sword into the Master Sword. So now we gotta hurry out and fight the imprisoned. Okay. So let's go and fight the imprisoned. Okay. Come on. So I've seen a lot of people say that Groose is the ancestor of all Gerudo, but he's too white. He's too white for that. He's too white. So now we have to fight this giant thing. The slice off of its uh, its toes. It's it's gross. Okay, I'm gonna do your stomp. Okay, so we gotta, um, we gotta knock the ceiling pillar into his head. 
And I think we gotta do that three times. This is one of my least favorite bosses in all of Zelda. Perfect. Now he's gonna slide. So I'm gonna head up. Is he gonna stop? He's gonna stop. He's gonna grow his toes again. So we gotta do that two more times before he gets to the sealed grounds. Cause if he does that, cause if he does, cause if he gets to the sealed grounds, I get a game over. Okay, only three more toes to kill. There we go. I just gotta knock him into his head again. I wish, oh wait, I was I was trying to skip it, but it just opened up the map. See if I could try to skip it. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I got a friend request. I'm gonna check that out. Only gotta do that one more time. So this is actually Demise, who is the predecessor of Ganondorf. In fact, his curse, this game explains why um, Link and Zelda and Ganon, uh, or forms of Ganon, or more accurately just Demise's hatred and malice keep reincarnating over and over again. It's because, um, we'll find out in the final boss, But for now, we can't do it because we're nowhere near the final boss. Ow! Okay, double ow. Nope, okay. This is actually the harder part of the boss. I need to try to get in front of him. No, no, okay. Okay, so I need to use this to get, I was trying to use that to get in front of him, I guess. So I need to get in front of him. Okay, great, now I'm behind him again. No, great, I gotta wait for my stamina recharges. No! This is gonna be bad. This is, I may lose. Okay, one foot. Okay, there we go. There we go, now we can knock it into his head. It's perfect. Gotta head around and knock it straight into his head. I'm running low on health. Okay, that should be the final hit. That should be, the, yeah, I, yeah, this is the final hit. This is the boss fight. All right, just, I can't skip this. So he disappears. Yep. And there's all the scales. This, this kind of reminds me of how our bosses die on Twilight Princess. So now we gotta Skyward Strike that and seal it in. And we have to do this very often throughout. Okay. Okay, Skyward Strike. 
Perfect. So now I gotta make a V, or well, a triangle. All right. Seal it. Perfect. That's why this place is called the Sealed Grounds, because this, this, this thing is there. Alright, so I'm gonna find a place to save and end the video. I'm gonna skip this cutscene. So there should be- yep, there's a bird statue in here. I'm gonna save at it. And I will see you guys next time. Peace!